Hi viewers, today we are going to unbox and uh, look inside this TP, top TP-Link top of contact sensor. Uh, this is a tiny sensor, works on RF frequency. Um, this unit for to work, it needs a top of M, uh, which is sold separately. So, let's open it and uh, see. First of all, let's see what inside. This is the M. This is the content inside the box. Let's open it and see. Let's see what's inside. It's a tiny package. Uh, it has some product to mold case inside it. Okay. Top side they have put the unit and the bottom side they have kept the paper work. So let's put it outside. Nothing else in the box. Give it a sec. This is the unit. These are the 3mm two side tips, paperwork, quick start guide, what's this? all about battery protection so I think special inside this is the start guide quick start guide for this contact sensor this is the thing magnet sensor alignment marks LED is it button <coughs> I think I'll see this the simple guide to okay, let's keep it aside. This is also same. Start okay. How to set up? Give it as the same. This is the unit. This is the main unit. This is the main unit. Uh, you can see the battery tab. Okay. This is the LED indicator. From this tiny hole, you can see the LED, green LED. This is the unit. We will open it and see what's inside, how it's going to work. And this is the other side. This is just a magnetic part. So, this is the thing. There will be a magnet inside it. I will show once we open it. Uh, this and this has two parts this is the main unit this is the this part can be see you can see on the top dimension open this way so if you slide it this part will come out see this thing so if you fix it in a place this will be fixed at, uh, at the, uh, with the double side tape so it will be permanent it will be stick to the surface whatever we install and this will be removed and we can change the battery so this is a tiny cover see this is a flat sticky cover if you have to remove this 
we we'll get see this is the information this works on this works on the cr 2032 3 volts battery this is the reset hole on this side nothing 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 special so this is the thing on the certification information that's it that's it on this we'll open it and see what's inside <coughs> inside this how it gonna what's We'll see inside this. We'll open it and uh, we'll do a tear down as well. And uh, we'll see the inside. Seat. This is the back side of the unit. You can see the, all the information, certification information, and you can see the thin battery cover. It's very thin, paper thin. It's it's held. As you can see, it's uh, very thin paper hard paper kind of battery cover so it was stick to this this <coughs> the let's put it there this is the pcb you can see the battery holder and the next to it you can see the reset switch information okay my camera is unable to focus sorry guys mm. okay yes this is the switch and the battery contacts nothing on this side let's see at the end on the back side this is the thing do not ingest battery and this is the RF antenna PCB RF antenna <laughs> they use entire bottom portion for RF antenna the PCB base on this side we have controllers okay, and this is the main IOT AAC seems to be same one that they are using in their uh, water sensor BATS seems and uh, here below we have US and uh, uh, yeah we have us at the bottom and uh, eu european and us and the european version has the capacitors so just okay this is the pcb and the led indicator on the bottom you can see the LED indicator as well and this is the uh, IOT IC seems to be same IC that they used for their drip leak sensor drip leak uh, sensor switch which all uh, you can find that video in my channel so this is the controller IC some maybe this is the other part of the unit as you can see the neodymium magnet and it's not the entire length just uh, the rectangle piece in the middle so I thought it will be entire uh, unit but it's actually in the middle part I'm uh, actually I'm unable So 
this is the mantic part on the other side then the this and then the, and the main unit as you can see it's not even in the middle somewhat on the top near to the battery maybe bottom side we have antenna that's why they design in this and this is the rf uh, pcb antenna as you can see it's coming from this uh, uh, rf ic see the lines coming from this rf ic and this is just and this is the main okay one minute and and this is the main component second main component hull effect sensor this is this this tiny this sensor will detect the all the magnetic fields and trigger the you can see 6131 hull effect sensor uh, sot package it has a package so let's see this in action this is the three volts battery the supply so last i already added this device to my hub so let's put it you can see that green led starts with flashing so okay okay let me see this is the here is the color of it I see here it is so if as soon as it triggers the magnetic field this green LED will blink okay keep a keep an eye on this uh, keep a keep an eye on this LED green LED so this is the magnetic I am going to use this is the magnetic neodymium so let's bring it to the I see okay closely I'm bringing it see detecting see this this is hella fat I see in action oh my god this tiny baby this is the one this is the I see this I see So let's see this IC sits here. Zoom out. Okay. Let's see is exactly here next to this open printout here exactly here it was the size so that's the thing this is okay viewers thank you for watching the video please subscribe for more videos like this thank you